Well, guys, look over there. There is Spotted Eagle Ray. The Spotted Eagle Ray usually eats fish, crustaceans, such as crabs, shrimp and hermit crabs. It also eats mollusks such as bivalves, sea snails and octopus. Spotted Eagle Rays have special teeth for crushing shelled mollusks. There is crab! The presence of claws on crabs is not just to decorate the body, these crab claws play a very important role in hunting. Maybe there are still some people who don't realize it, but crab claws are very strong and large. There was even a study to measure the strength of this animal's claws. This is mouth bass. All types of largemouth bass come in unique colors and patterns. Typically, all species of this fish have a similar green color with horizontal spots. Largemouth snapper is famous for its bright green color and horizontal spots on both sides and has a white underbelly. This is a crayfish. Each animal certainly has its own way of protecting itself from enemy attacks or in situations of danger. Well, crayfish will usually release their shells when they are in an emergency and are threatened. But don't worry, because the shells they shed can grow back during the molting period. This is blue whale. Even though blue whales look very big, their food is small. Blue whales only eat small shrimp such as krill. However, the number of shrimp eaten in a day can reach 40 million. When migrating, blue whales eat very little. Most blue whales survive on fat reserves. This is gulper eel. Male gulper eels generally have larger eyes than females. Scientists believe that males can meet females mainly because males follow the scent of pheromones released by females, but the ability of pelican eels to produce light at the tip of their tail is also used to attract the attention of the opposite sex to reproduce. This is ammonite. Ammonite live throughout the seas and swam by squirting water in one direction to push themselves along. Ammonites appeared 425 million years ago and were very common ocean animals throughout the age of the dinosaurs. This is a blue spotted ray. Blue spotted rays are distributed in tropical waters, at a depth of 30 meters, ranging from the Indian Ocean to South Africa, from the Arabian Peninsula to Southeast Asia, including Madagascar, Mauritius, Zanzibar, Sizalensa, Sri Lanka and the Maldives. Rarely found in the Persian Gulf and Gulf of Oman. Subscribe guys! Well guys, look! There is lobster! Lobsters usually have two pincers of different sizes. The larger one is a crusher, used to crush prey. The smaller one consists of two claws, functions as a cutter or conqueror. Its purpose is to tear prey and shape it into small pieces. This is Gurnard Fish. Currently there are many hobbyists who choose flying Gurnard Fish to fill their aquariums. Food that tends to be easy to care for also makes this fish relatively easy to care for. However, that doesn't mean there are no challenges at all in keeping Gurnard flying fish. With a maximum size of up to 50 centimeters. There is an octopus. Most octopuses live on the sea floor, but some often swim closer to the surface. A solitary animal, octopuses usually live alone, sometimes in nests they build out of rocks, sometimes in their shells that rest on top of themselves. This is squid. Squid are intelligent sea creatures. They have large and complex brains, even comparable to those of whales. The squid's ability to learn and adapt also impressed researchers. They are capable of completing complex tasks and even exhibit behavior that indicates extraordinary intelligence. This is a hermit crab. The hermit crab will shed its old shell and make its body unable to move for some time, as if it were dead. Even though they are small, 
Hermit crabs actually have quite a long lifespan, you know. Hermit crabs in the wild can live for 30 years. This is a moray eel. Several types of moray eels have very beautiful body colors. The colors and patterns on the moray eel's body vary greatly depending on the type. Many marine aquarium lovers use this eel as an addition to their aquarium collection. Several tourist attractions have collections of various types of beautiful moray eels. There is a clownfish. Of the nearly 30 species of clownfish, there are two types commonly referred to as the orange clownfish, Amphiprion percula and Amphiprion ocellaris. The percula clownfish is distinguished by its vivid orange color and white bands outlined in black. Subscribe guys! Well guys, look over there! There is a puffer fish! Puffer fish that have white spots apparently have a unique habit of building nests. Male puffer fish make round nests in the sand. Their goal in building a nest is to attract the attention of females. Usually, if female fish are impressed, they will lay their eggs in the nest. Well, this is starfish. Starfish do not have a skeleton that can help them move. Their skeleton serves as protection. They move using a water vascular system. They depend on tube feet located on the ventral side of the snake star's arms, which function for movement and help with feeding. There is a jellyfish. Not only do jellyfish not have brains, they also don't have blood, bones and hearts. However, they have a basic nervous system with receptors that can detect light, vibrations and chemicals in the water. This ability, as this marine animal navigates in the water. Their bodies consist of 98% water. This is dolphin. Some researchers have found that dolphins have the longest memories of any species, apart from humans. A study revealed that dolphins can recognize the voices of their close friends, even after being separated for 20 years. A number of scientists have concluded that this extraordinary memory can be linked to the evolution of social relationships among dolphins. This is box fish. Box fish are not poisonous like puffer fish. Its spotted skin like a leopard, its small mouth, and the hexagon shape of its shell easily make people think this fish is strange. Maybe even similar to ancient fish. Therefore, no one sells this fish here, it is probably considered inedible. This is a Decapodiformer. Decapodiforms is a superorder of cephalopoda consisting of all cephalopod species with 10 limbs, specifically 8 short arms and 2 long tentacles. This is Garfish. Alligators are very calm fish, if you get the chance to see one. They will appear to be floating or submerged in water. However, don't be fooled, this is how they hunt. They won't move until a fish startles them and comes close. The stunned target will suddenly be attacked by an alligator fish which will lunge and grab it with hundreds of sharp teeth. Thank you for watching guys.